Hello friends, this video on Air Around Us Part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us talk about each of these gases one by one. So we start with nitrogen. So nitrogen forms the major part of air, obviously more than 78%. So it's like if you have, as, as I was talking about, if you have a circular piece or a biscuit, so the, most of the biscuit is like nitrogen. You just leave out one quarter of it and all other gases will be happy with that. So it's something like that. So it makes almost four-fifth of the air. So if you, I mean fourth fifth part of the air is like nitrogen so if you divide a biscuit into five equal pieces so four of those pieces would be nitrogen so just one piece would be for oxygen carbon carbon dioxide and others now when we talk about importance of nitrogen now nitrogen is present in such huge amounts in air and air is present all around us that means nitrogen is also present all around us so what is the importance of nitrogen what is its significance where is it used so let us look at it. So it is a building block of constituents essential for life. So if you look at any living organisms, now forget about other organisms, think of human bodies. So inside our body, a lot of different molecules are present. For example, there are proteins, there are nucleic acids, there are other such biomolecules which are present inside our body and without them, our bodies cannot function. And all these biomolecules, whether you talk about proteins or you talk about the nucleic acids. Now, when I say nucleic acids, these are like DNA, RNA. Now, because of which, like, it, I do not want to get into all these details. But these nucleic acids are those because of which, due to the presence of these components, uh, we have inherited traits like I look similar to my mother or somebody looks similar to her sister so all these similarities in human beings that arises because of these nucleic acids so you can understand it in that way so these are something which are present inside our body and they are very important and these nucleic acids these proteins now proteins are like the building blocks of our body now different body parts they need proteins for their growth development everything and proteins nucleic acids all these things contain nitrogen as one of its components. So without nitrogen, you cannot have proteins. Without nitrogen, you cannot have nucleic acids. And without proteins, without nucleic acids, you cannot have living organisms. So basically, nitrogen is needed to for the structural construction of living organism. Now, not only animals, even for plants, nitrogen is very, very important. So it is one of the most important nutrient for the growth and development of different plants. So it's like a macronutrient. That is what we call in plants. So those nutrients which are needed by plants in large amounts, they, they are called macronutrients. So nitrogen is one of those macronutrients and how do plants get nitrogen? They get nit nitrogen is anyways present in the atmosphere, but those nitrogen in the process of nitrogen cycle, they get uh, converted into other compounds of nitrogen which remain within the soil. And then from the soil, they are taken up by the plants through the roots of the plants. These nitrogen is taken up from the soil. So that's how plants get their nitrogen. So if plants do not get enough nitrogen, growth and proper development would not take. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.